Hey guys, my name is Marisol and today I'm gonna be recreating this beautiful look. I'm not too sure I loved it, but I actually don't mind how it looks in the camera, but I'm not a big fan of how it looks in the mirror. I feel like it's too many browns for my skin. Tell me what you guys think and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be recreating all of this look with all of Gigi Hadid's makeup line. It's uh, from Maybelline. I did an unboxing of this maybe like two or three months ago, I think, when I got it in the mail. Okay, so I've already applied moisturizer to my skin and some block, and I'm gonna be color correcting all of this like reddish, purpley-ish area. And I'm gonna be using this palette from B Mineral Cosmetics. It's a Mexican brand. I'm not a big fan of its packaging. It looks kind of cheap. Okay, so I'm gonna be applying a bit of orange around this area. And around the little red area, I'm gonna be applying this green. Okay, I think this is good enough. And for foundation, I'm gonna be using La Genouille Cible. I can't pronounce it, it's in French. From Kyotis Paris. It's La Je ne sais. Je ne sais. I don't know. Tint Fluid Sublimateur. I don't speak French, so that's as close as it gets. And with this flat brush, I'm just gonna spread everything around. Okay, I do feel like this is a bit dark for my skin. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm not liking this. This looks weird. I'm gonna be applying powder to my face to just like set, not set, but like make it matte. Okay, so this is from Kiko. It's an Italian brand. Okay, for the eyes, I'm pretty sure she's using like a mix of this too. I don't remember what color used to be in here, but it broke. I'm gonna be mixing those two colors, and then here she has a bit of a highlight with this color, I believe. So I'm gonna be applying this brown just as a base. Kinda goes out this way, and then she has it like this. Okay, it doesn't look anything like it. <laughs> Now back to the little eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna be using these two colors. She has a bit of highlight right here. And then on the inner corner of the eye, she also has that highlight right here. My eyes are getting red. <sighs> I'm just gonna outline. My eye. Okay, this looks crazy right here. So for the eyebrows, I'm gonna be using this brown right here. So I'm starting off with this part of my eyebrow. That literally looks nothing like the color of my eyebrow. A ver. Nope. Okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna be using this color. So I'm gonna be using this Benefit that I've been using in all of my videos. Tiny little brush and just brush away. And I can see that her eyebrows right here in this look are a bit like fluffy. They go out a bit, so I'm gonna do that for my eyebrows. Ugh, it looks weird, no? Is that? No, oh my god, oh my god, no, that's weird. <laughs> Did I mess up the whole look for doing that? I feel like that color underneath of a brown that looks a bit reddish. Does that make sense? Fluffing my eyebrows and then just giving them like a clean look at the end. Now I'm gonna be using this mascara, and the brush looks like this. Now we're gonna apply a thousand coats. And I don't think this is a waterproof mascara, which is actually really good for like daily use. Whenever you use waterproof mascara, try to remove it with coconut oil. Just be careful and remove all the excess coconut oil that's left around your skin, around your eyes, because you can get like little tiny pimples because of the coconut oil. But I do recommend removing your makeup with coconut oil or some type of oil, because it's gonna be really nourishing for your eyelashes. I won't be doing a winged eyeliner. I'm not too sure it actually looks like her look, but I like it. <laughs> 
So now let's move on to the face. I'm gonna finish off with contouring and highlight because I don't think she's actually wearing any blush. I don't think she's wearing blush. Okay, so I'm gonna do a contour glow, I guess. Now for the contouring, I'm gonna be using this little brown right here. And for the highlight, I'm gonna use this one. It's actually wearing like a deeper contour, like all the way over here. Then for my nose, I'm gonna be using the same brown, same brush. I feel like my face looks dirty. See, no, no más me sucia. And now I'm gonna be trying this out <laughs> for the first time ever. And it just goes over the contour, I think, I hope. So with this brush, I'm gonna be applying the highlighter. She actually has a lot of highlighter, like right here. I don't know, I don't think I'm a fan of this look. She is wearing a bit of blush slash contour. I'm gonna apply a bit of blush because I feel like I look really orangey. So I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of this blush right here. For the finishing touch, I believe she's using this color. It's a bit more orange. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this color. This is the final look. I actually do like it, but I don't think it looks that much like Gigi Hadid. So yeah, let me just put my hair like hers. Wait, I'm doing it the other way. So yep. I nailed it, I nailed the hair look. <laughs> I do like the makeup, but I think I went overboard with a bit of browns. But I do think I went overboard with some browns. So I actually feel like I have dirt on my face. This mascara is really good. The big palette, eh, I'm not a huge fan of. I don't think the colors are real in the camera as I see them here. Maybe I did apply too much. Oh crap, are you serious? Isn't it that? Now I'm like the math teacher. So I don't know, overall, I do like it. I'm not the biggest fan of this look, of me recreating this look. Comment down below whose makeup do you want me to recreate. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to follow me in my other social media, which I will leave down below. I have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I do have another channel where I do mostly story times, but everything is in Spanish. So if you guys want to go and learn Spanish, go check that out. And thanks for watching. Bye. Even though my face looks orange. Of... Chinga la madre.